Hello, everybody. Like to give a message to the Cameron and the members of Parliament and Ed Miliband. As you have seen, there was a massacre, 1,500 women and children, just 10 days ago. And for the last two and a half years, we have been telling the Prime Minister and the House of Parliament that there is going to be chemical attack, chemical attack every week, every month, by Mahal Assad and Bashar Assad and Ali Mamluk and the rest of the Syrian regime. Two and a half years... We have been telling the House of Parliament and the British Prime Minister about the crimes in Syria. And still the members of Parliament, they haven't learned their lesson. How many people do you expect to be killed by Bashar al-Assad? Do you give approval in the House of Parliament against Bashar al-Assad? How, how many more people need to be killed? How many people need to be tortured? Already, the Prime Minister David Cameron explained to you, this is two and a half years going on. George Galloway is earning money from Iran and he's brainwashing the Labour Party and other members of Parliament. But the three members of Parliament in the Labour Party and the Conservative Party should be much wiser and should be aware that Bashar al-Assad is endangering not only the region, is endangering the whole world. The price of the barrel of oil is going to be reaching soon 400 pounds or 400 dollars if Bashar stays in power. Is that what you want? The price of the oil for each barrel is going to be 400 pounds or 400 dollars if Bashar stays in power and if Bashar is not taught a proper lesson by the Western free world. All the satellites of the top powerful countries, China, Russia, Britain, United Kingdom, uh, United States and France, They've seen with their satellites how the rockets went from Masi Airport and the mountain of Masiyun into Al Ma'atamiya and into Ghuta, the eastern Ghuta of Damascus. Harasta, Jobar, everywhere, Arbin, all these places. And this is the 14th time. And this is the 14th time Bashar al-Assad bombing these areas and in Khal Asal and other places and Daraya as well. For how long the Western world is going to keep silent about all these massacres? Your silence means your approval of this. Bashar will say and will accept your silence as approval. And in this Western democracy, a long time ago we said that because we have human rights, we should not allow these kind of massacres and this kind of use of chemical weapons. And what are we teaching us? What is everybody teaching us? Are we learning hypocrisy or democracy? What kind of Political life are we learning? When are we going to wake up? One day, 1,500 women and children wiped out with chemical gas, sarin gas and other nerve agents by one criminal and his family called Maher Al-Assad with the Brigade 105 from Mount Kassiyun the mountain Kassiyun, the northern side of Damascus. We have to act immediately. We have to push Obama to take a proper action against Bashar al-Assad. Because Vladimir Putin is making a lot of money out of this. He's making billions. He's selling him more weapons, more weapons to Iran, to Hezbollah, 
that the Assad family, to the Makhlouf family, to burn the oil of the Middle East and to cause chaos in Lebanon and Turkey and Jordan and Iraq and all the Middle East, including Cyprus. Even the British forces will suffer in Cyprus. The whole Mediterranean could suffer if Bashar stays in power. As you can see, every day he sees he can bomb any area with Scud missiles and send his airplanes all over Syria and hit anybody, no matter 200, 300, 1,500 in one day, and nobody is bothered. That's why we should support David Cameron in action against Bashar al-Assad. This is our chance. If we miss this opportunity now, things will be out, will be blown out of proportion, and there is going to be chaos in the Middle East. And this is going to affect Europe as well. Because Vladimir Putin wants to sell gas to Europe at a very high price. And that's why he doesn't want to change the power in Syria. We have to be aware of all these things. Vladimir Putin and China have their own interests. They've got their financial interests. Because there's gas in the sea in front of Syria. And that's why they're supporting Bashar. They say, buy weapons from us. And we get the contracts from you for the gas. There are agendas behind Vladimir Putin and China. And we have to be aware of this. We have to be aware of this and we have to teach the members of parliament who sleep half the time in the parliament and they don't know what's going on in Syria and the rest of the world. Anyway, please share this information on your Facebook with your friends. Tell your neighbors, tell your colleagues at work, tell your families that we have to care about these women and Syrian children who are suffering day and night. We're enjoying freedom here in the Western world. We can express our opinion. But there are 25 million in Syria. They can't even express one word. Here the police is protecting us to express our view. In Syria, if you open your mouth, you and your family and your grandparents will end up in prison. This is for 50 years happening since 1963. The Assad family are torturing us and killing us and planting fear in our ourselves and our children. We don't trust our neighbor, we don't trust our relatives because we're scared they're going to write a report about us. And now because we experience our freedom here, we can discuss between 200 and 300 people what we should do in Syria. So please listen carefully and tell your neighbors and tell your local MPs Write a letter to your local MP and tell him, we've got to do something in Syria. Syria is suffering and will suffer as long as we keep quiet about it. And thank you so much for listening. Bye everybody.